Hello Leo and welcome to my channel. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is a general reading for Leo from the 9th to the 15th of July 2018. I put the decks I'm using down in the description box and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if this video resonates with you. I'm starting with the Gypsy Witch deck and we'll just do a general uh, energy reading for the week and then I'll do the general tarot readings. So... The main energy is uh, the stalk, which uh, speaks about movement, changing residence, so moving house. So maybe you are planning on um, maybe moving up the, the property ladder into something better. And uh, this is usually a positive change card. Um, and you've obviously signed um, an agreement uh, regarding this house or this uh, place that you're moving to. And it was something that you find, uh, it's a very beautiful place, uh, something that you really like because it is coming through as a gift, a bouquet. Uh, so something very pretty and you've just signed a contract um, regarding this, this house. And um, you feel that this place is now much luckier for you and it will bring you a change in your luck. So something really, uh, you know, really positive for you. Um, you feel that this change is going to bring, and it really is a new beginning for you. So you're moving home, uh, moving a change, uh, moving house. You've got this change that is going to bring you new beginnings uh, with the children card, and uh, the contract has just been signed, or you're you're just about to sign contracts. And of course, it is because it now brings in a lot of money and big money at that. So. Uh, with the fish being the money card and the bear being something of power. So a lot of power and money coming to you after you make this move. So maybe you're making a move maybe to another country and this uh, means better pay and a better job, a bit more position, a more um, authority. So maybe you're getting a promotion that is also going to bring in uh, a lot of money. So some sort of movement, uh, a lot of money coming in, some contract being signed and it's a new beginning for you. A lot of luck coming in. So it's a lovely spread. Um, so this is for the general read. I'll just cut these cards. Okay, so the um, the main energy is the Seven of Pentacles. So whatever work, hard work you've put in is now beginning to bear fruit and you're beginning to get the harvest of it. So um, a lot of abundance, a lot of money, uh, you know, um, a lot of um, improvement within your financial status. Uh, and that's the energy that is running through this card. A really, really nice energy and very, very productive. Um, something, you know, you've been waiting long and hard for and working very hard uh, to achieve and now you're suddenly now you're getting receiving the benefits of it so altogether very positive so what's going on in the main situation is uh the the three of cups and um yeah the three of cups and uh the queen of swords so um you know you are really celebrating Three of Cups is a card of celebration. You are really celebrating. You have, have achieved and gotten what you wanted. And also you are now in a position with the Queen of Swords crossing it. You are really a pos in a position of authority. Your message is going across to a lot of people and you have taken charge. So you have probably is a, a promo promotion that you've received, a job promotion, and it is a cause for celebration. And just like the, uh, the Gypsy Witch said, this job... Uh, um, uh, financial gain has caused you now, you know, you've received a promotion and you're very, very happy celebrating with friends, celebrating with family and really a lot of emotional fulfillment coming from that. So in the last year, you've been working really hard, doing something that you really loved and it's been uh, involving a lot of your creativity with this three of pentacles and you've been very, very focused uh, on producing whatever you are producing. So uh, a lot of effort and energy has gone into this. And, you know, your life has been a bit out of balance with this justice card over here. You've been spending long hours, being very tired, very, uh, you know, worn off your feet. And all of that now has been, has paid off or will pay off right now uh, with this uh, new promotion, ability to speak, communicate, take charge, and with this Three of Cups card. 
and on your mind is the eight of pentacles so yes you still got a lot of uh, work on your mind you've been concentrating a lot about perfecting whatever skill you have and and getting ahead so um you know your focus has really been very very work orientated and now you're going to uh, um, reap the benefits or, or rewards from that and you've got going into the future the wheel of fortune so your luck has changed and everything that was now where you were in a position of luck is now going into abundance so a really good swing of positive energy coming in for you and uh, since this is your uh, birthday month this is obviously something that is you know bringing a lot of um, energy new sunlight energy and change of luck coming in for you and um, you've got the three of swords you have been really uh, frustrated uh, you know uh, feeling as though you were alone a sense of loss coming out over here and that's how you've just been feeling maybe you've been miserable maybe you did um, you've got a lot of thoughts that have been um, worrying you a lot of worries and anxieties that have been playing on your mind and that's been going on recently but um, People see you, how the world see you is, sees you as, you know, you need to make some sort of decision. You need to choose something that you love to do and it will all work out well. There might be a choice in love, but it looks like it might be a choice more in work. Um, and it seems like, you know, this is, is something favorable. Make sure that you review everything before you make any kind of choice because this is the lover's card and it's a major card. So it's a major card and that means a major life change. And it's a universal thing, so something it's divinely guided. So the choice that you made at this crossroads of your life is going to be something that changes your life for the better, especially with the Wheel of Fortune, and it seems like things are just going to go on the up and up. You have been waiting for some news about your projects, and you know you're having a bit of anxiety, maybe a bit of frustration, um, but you know you should relax because it looks like things are going to go your way. And the final outcome cards: Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and Eight of Wands. So uh, maybe you have been feeling alone, left out, maybe isolated, maybe because you've been spending so much of time with your work, you haven't had time to uh, foster any uh, you know, social contacts or make friends. So you've been feeling a bit lost um, you know, as far as that goes. Uh, you might be feeling that you know, you've been a bit down on your luck as far as money goes, but all that is about to change. And with the Seven of Swords, you, know, you, need to, you might need to do some um, you know, extra investigations, extra... Um, um, learning, um, you know, make sure that things are um, revealed to you. So you might have to do some extra research to find out any, if anything is amiss or if there's anything that is hidden or if there's anything that is not uh, honest uh, or above board. So do some research, make sure you're keeping good records of things and, um, and you know, um, make sure that you are watching if there's any, you know, loss or theft or anything going around. So make sure that you are, you've got your eyes open uh, and you are seeing things. Don't let anybody uh, pull the wool over your eyes. So the Eight of Wands is the final card which says that, you know, you are uh, manifesting at this particular moment and the universe is giving you all the energy to manifest the things that you want. So you are focused and you are putting your energy into it and all of that now will start paying off, especially with this Three of Cups card and the Wheel of Fortune changing. So this is coming up into the immediate future. So I'm going to draw three cards from the um, Archangel Tarot, and that is just to get some advice as to what's going on. So the first card is the Eight of Earth, which says Skilled Work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic and coming back to school. So I did speak about uh, you having to go back and maybe you need to do some, uh, you know, further studies, especially with this uh, Seven of Wands cards showing that, you know, you might need to go back and do some, some research, some learning. Um, so... Um, so your skilled work or the work that you're doing is quite skilled and it's going to be uh, highly rewarded. Uh, you're getting some sort of promotion coming in, so that will be very, very good for you. And the Nine of Earth says, enjoy life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. So whatever thing that you've decided to do, you are coming into your own, you are becoming financially independent and um, 
you will be successful if you've decided to go uh, go it alone and do uh, something by yourself uh, it is something that you do have to focus all your energies in but it your luck does change with the wheel of fortune so a lot of money coming in and giving you some financial um, independence and the last card is justice uh, which says fair and just decisions do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs so you need to, uh, you know, you have been following the Justice card for the last three months. So it comes back again with Archangel Raphael. Make the correct decisions based on the truth and, you know, stand up for what you believe. Because uh, your convictions are the things that are going to get you moving and it's going to bring in, um, you know, your abundance. So speaking your truth as with this Queen of Swords says that you do need to speak your truth and, um you do need to make fair decisions, and that will, is how your abundance will come in. So altogether, a very, very favorable reading with, uh, you know, just have a little bit of patience for things coming in, and uh, you are now manifesting and a lot of energy coming into your life. Um, the things that you've been putting your energy into, it looks like, um, you know, your luck has changed or is about to change. And, you know, whatever situations that upset you or made you anxious, as with this uh, Three of Swords, you need to let go of it and put it behind you and just focus all your en energy with this Eight of Wands card. Focus all your energy, thoughts, and concentration on, on the task at hand in order for you to manifest and bring home the goods. So I hope uh, that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.